Mil Rano, no idea. No idea. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, today we'll have uh, two uh, journal club discussion. And with us today is uh, Professor Sanjay Mohan Bhattacharya, who is a professor head of surgery at uh, VIMS and Namkishim Shepardishthan. And we have two presenters, Dr. Rewan from I Imambara District Hospital. Uh, he will present the first uh, topic. Dr. Rand, you can share your screen and start. Uh, Dr. Ravant, you are not audible. Screen is also not visible. Hello. Yeah, Dr. Ravan. Yes, yes. Sir, am, I, am I audible now, sir? You're yeah, audible now. Share okay, your sir. screen. Sir, okay, sir. I'm sharing my screen. So is my screen available, visible now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Ravan Fafre, second year PGT from Imambara District Hospital. I'll be presenting a journal. Uh, uh, named as uh, favorable outcomes after retrorectus, and that is uh, Restopa mesh repair as a treatment for non complex ventral abdominal wall hernia, uh, a systemic review and meta analysis. Let's start. The uh, author of the, the, this uh, journal has been taken from Annals of Surgery, and this uh, journal was present, uh, published in the uh, month of 18 February 2022. And the main author is Floris P. J. Den, Hartog, MD, and et al. Uh, this is from Department of Surgery, Erasmus University Medical Center, uh, Netherlands, Rotterdam, Netherlands. And other uh, other uh, author contributions are also written on the page. Uh, the, the article is ranked 2,567 uh, in the similar uh, age of the journals, like similar in the uh, uh, ventral hernia repair. Okay, uh, mini FSAT. Uh, for a non complex ventral hernia, retro uh, rectus repair is considered the gold standard treatment. Uh, this is as per the level one evidence confirming this superiority is lacking. Uh, a meta analysis concerning 93 studies comprising of 12,440 patients showed low recurrence rates and morbidity. Uh, retro rectus repair leads to either superior or similar results compared to other open techniques and should be considered for initial repair. And on the right side, you can see other type of repairs such as only uh, only mesh repair, inlay mesh repair, sublay and inter IPOM, that is intraperitoneal only mesh repair. Uh, abstract. The objective the objective of the journal is to assess the prevalence of hernia recurrence, surgical site infection, steroma, uh, other serious uh, MODA serious complications, and mortality after the retro uh, rectus repair. Summary of the background, ventral abdominal hernia is a common problem tied to increasing frailty and obesity of the patients undergoing surgery. For a non-complex ventral hernia, uh, restopa repair is considered the gold standard treatment. Uh, level 1 evidence confirming this presumed superiority is lacking. Uh, methods. Uh, five databases were re uh, searched for studies reporting on uh, retrorectus repair. Uh, single armed and comparatively uh, randomized and non-randomized studies were included. Outcomes were pooled with mixed effects. Uh, inclusion criteria age 25 to uh, 88 years. Sex male to female ratio is 1 ratio 3. BMI is from 17.7 .7 to 52 uh, kilogram kg per meter square. The median is 29.7 uh, kg per meter square. Hernia diameter ranged from 3.9 to 31.4 centimeter, and the median was 7.2 centimeter. Fall of duration as it, uh, was ranged from one month to 112 months. <coughs> 
एंड रेडियोलॉजिकली प्रूवन हर्निया बाय अल्ट्रासाउंड सी सी टी और एम आर आई रिजल्ट दीज आर द रिजल्ट एज पर दिस I'll just mention the important point, sir. Uh, yes. uh, retrorectus repair was associated with low recurrence rates compared to only repair, uh, and uh, it is equal recurrence uh, and uh, similarly equal recurrence rates compared to eye form. Uh, retrorectus repair was associated with more of uh, surgical site infections than eye form repair, as minimally in invasive retrorectus repair uh, displayed low rates of recurrence, albeit based on a randomized study. Conclusion: uh, Restopa repair results in excellent outcomes, superior or similar to other techniques for all outcomes except surgical site infection. The surgical site infection that occurred yet less frequently after eye form repair, which is usually performed by laparoscopy. Introduction. Uh, shall go through the main main points. Uh, uh, in uh, incisional and primary ventral abdominal hernia are common diseases which occur <clears throat> uh, over 348. Thousand surgical procedures each year in the United States. Moreover, despite increased use of minimal invasive surgery, numbers of ventral hernia repair procedures, both in elective and emergency settings, have not been decreased. Uh, for all but the smallest ventral hernia, closure with mesh implantation is the gold standard. Mesh repair can be performed with multiple techniques, usually defined based on the position of the mesh. Incisional hernia research is hampered by the Uh, nearly all medical specialists and generalists encounter patients with ventral hernia at some point of their practice. Since the implementation of mesh repair, many misconceptions circulating concerning risk and complications and expected outcomes associated with mesh processes. Therefore, providing the broader medical community, not just hernia surgeons, with the accurate and comprehensive information required to inform patient and provide proper referral is imperative. Uh, for a medium size, that is as per the European hernia. Uh, classification W2 and uh, W2 that is a medium size 4 to 10 cm non complex ventral hernia uh, ventral abdominal hernia retrorectus repair as a, as described by Reeves and Stopa is one of the most widely applied technique this technique is thought to be superior however accurate summary estimates of expected outcomes after retrorectus repair concerning the large and consecutive patient samples are lacking uh, this systematic review and meta analysis aims to Assess the pooled outcomes of uh, specifically retrorectus repair in terms of recurrence, infections, and incidence of uh, severe complications. Additionally, outcomes of the retrorectus repair will be compared to other available techniques. Uh, this is the EHS classification. Uh, M1 is subzygoid. Usually, sir, uh, the hernia uh, anterior abdominal ventral hernia is divided into uh, epigastric hernia, umbilical hernia, <clears throat> and the sir in intraumbilical hernia. Uh, so in the midline, if it is uh, M1, it is subsequent. M2 is epigastric. M3 is umbilical. M4 is intraumbilical, and M5 is suprapubic. And with this, W1, W2, W3 less than three centimeters, three to five centimeters, <clears throat> and W3 is more than five centimeters. Methods. Uh, this systematic review and meta analysis was conducted according to the Prisma guidelines. Uh, the The, 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 on the left side, you can see the Prisma flowchart. Uh, out of three thousand three hundred thirty-five unique records, ninety-three studies were included. These included fifteen randomized trials, thirty-six prospective studies, and forty-two retrospective studies. Of these ninety-three studies, forty-three studies were single-arm, non-comparative studies, and fifty studies were comparative. Discussion. Uh, Based on the pooled estimates of uh, reported outcome, the retrospective uh, repair according to the Reeves-Stopa technique was usually associated with favorable outcomes. Recurrence rate after minimum follow-up of 24 months were low and would likely facilitate a clear treatment benefit for most patients. The SSI and seroma formation occurred infrequently. Moreover, severe complications were rarely reported, and 30 days mortality rate did not exceed risk, uh, which are generally associated with surgical procedures under GA general anesthesia. Uh, Retrorectus repair was associated with substantial benefit when compared to only mesh repair. Only mesh repair was associated with 3.7 times the increase in hernia recurrence and an increased incidence of surgical site infection and seroma. Compared to eye form, uh, recurrence rate was similar. However, eye form Uh, repair was associated with lower incidence of surgical site infection. Uh, this is likely explained by the fact that eye form is usually performed laparoscopic or robotic by uh, laparoscopic or robotic surgery, leading to leading to fewer bone-related complications. Uh, so the retrorectus provides a protected plane and will provide uh, some medialization of the rectus sheet, which constitu uh, constitutes some theoretical advantages. The mark increase in SSI associated with retrorectus repair as compared to I-form 
is likely caused to open nature of retrorectus repair. In majority of the cases, these infections complications may be uh, of a relatively mild nature, treatable during the post-op course uh, without surgical intervention. Retrorectus, uh, so unexpectedly, the higher incidence of post-operative infection did not lead to more recurrence when compared to I-form mesh repair. Retrorectus uh, repair may be considered <clears throat> the optimal open treatment for medium-sized non-complex ventral abdominal hernia associated with low recurrence rate and low risk of adverse events. Uh, the retrorectus repair will provide medial uh, Therefore, initial open ventral repair should be preferably be performed with retrorectus mesh that is re-stupa repair while other techniques may be reserved as salvage techniques in case of recurrence or in case of retrorectus repair is not possible due to anatomical or patient-related concerns. Uh, so these are the, uh, the uh, comparison between uh, re-stupa and uh, only eye palm and uh, the minimal invasive and the uh, heavy types of different type of lightweights and heavyweight mesh. And on the right side, we can see the occur uh, recurrence overall outcomes of retrorectus mesh repair. Uh, so, so there were the limitations of this general are there is some heterogeneity in how retrorectus mesh repair is performed. For example, in the size of the cranio caudal and mediolateral dissection mesh mesh fixation, type of a mesh, mesh overlap, that is the magnet to the platinum dissection, closure techniques, uh, that is the continuous small bites and the large bites and dissection or the use of hernia sac. Uh, despite this heterogeneity, uh, which will be present across all included studies, the primary anatomical principle using uh, pr principle of using the retroactive plane shows favorable long-term and short-term uh, short-term outcomes. Potential complications specific to the retrorectus technique are posterior sheath breakdown, breakdown rectus de uh, denervation, uh, resulting in lateral bulge and violation of the semilunar line, that is the semilunar, uh, resulting in lateral hernia. The, these are more often observed with transverse abdominis release and were rarely uh, reported. As such, we are unable to estimate uh, their incidence or further consequences. Uh, we may assume that <clears throat> either these complications occur uh, uh, rarely or uh, are rarely captured in current clinical follow-up due to losses or follow-up or failure to recognize and, doc uh, recognize and document these problems adequately. Overall rates of major complications leading to re-intervention uh, uh, were included in the analysis and occurred infrequently. Uh, conclusion. Considering the pooled estimates, uh, retrorectus repair, According to Reeves Sofa technique for ventral hernia was associated with favorable post-op and long-term outcomes. Retrorectus repair was superior to only mesh repair regarding to regarding all objectified outcomes. IPOM <clears throat> showed fewer surgical site infections, but a comparable hernia recurrence rate, uh, likely due to its minimal invasive nature. Minimal invasive retrorectus repair might be the next major step forward in the ventral hernia repair. Adequately powered randomized trials and comparing open to minimal invasive retrospective repair are, com uh, are required in order to demonstrate potential superiority. Uh, initially, open ventral uh, hernia repair should be pref uh, preferably be performed with the use of retrorectus technique, while other techniques may be reserved as salvage uh, salvage techniques in case of recurrence or for the patient whom retrospective repair is not possible. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Very good presentation by Dr. Ivan. Thank you, sir. So, I think so. These are the comparison where retrorectus mesh repair, that is open technique. So, here, as because we are not sure, the, they have compared the retrorectus with the minimal access or retrorectus open. Okay. Yes, sir. So, th these are open only. Uh, they are saying that in the future they might use uh, retrorectus by using yeah. the laparoscopy, you know, making the yeah. plane and all that. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, how do you feel after reading this paper? Is it a good paper or it requires more uh, meta analysis? Sir, they, it needs more meta analysis, sir, because. Uh, uh, it is a very a very recent study. They have been uh, st they started the study five five six years back, and they have recently published it. Uh, so I think it needs more meta analysis. Number one, number two. What is the size of the defect? So the size of the defect about. So you have described only the defect size is uh, up to three or five centimeters. It's okay by the rectorectus. Okay. Yes, sir. 
But yes, if sir. it is the more than that, that is more than eight or the ten, then in that case, what will happen? And you said again, there is the chance of the breakage. That is posterior yes, while you are um, doing a separation. Yes, sir. Will it the uh, midline break? Okay. Yes, so sir. So uh, there, but uh, that size defect. As because we know the principles of the rectorectus is medialization of the linear alba. This yes, is the real advantage of rectorectus mesh repair over the on the mesh. Okay. So okay. this is the key principle of uh, repair of ventral hernia. But thing is that if the size of the defect is more than the eight centimeter or six centimeter, then it is difficult to close yes, in the midline, okay? That's yes, why uh, some other hernia, that is method of hernia technique has come out, which is the extension of the reef stopper, that is posterior tar, okay? Yes, sir, tar has come. Yes, sir. Okay, again, the from the very beginning, the only mesh repair, what happens about the only mesh repair? You said, you have discussed, the wound breakage is more, number one, seroma yes, is more, that is more. morbid mortality is more. So yes, that's sir. why we are not proceeding and the recurrence hernia, chance of recurrence hernia is more. So we yes, are sir. not proceeding in that way. Okay. Yes, okay. So what is the, uh, but besides that, so can we think of the, what is the vascularity or the nerve supply uh, of the interior abdominal wall? So I'm going to the outside your uh, that is the journal club. So I think all of us should know that one. Otherwise, why there is breakage? Why there is a weak in the uh, if you give the wrong incision on the medial aspect of the linear similarities? So you should know the anatomy. So anatomical yes, importance. So have yes, you sir. any idea? The yes, sir. sir. The so the innervation. Yes, sir. The innervation. Yes, sir. The innervation is from the intercostal 7 to 12 and from lumbar, some of the lumbar uh, nerves. And the anatomically, it is from... Uh, is, hello? Hello? Hello. Ha, sir, are you able to listen? Yes, yes. Hi, hi, hi. yes sir. Sir, the uh, arterial supply is from the intercostal vessels and uh, yeah. superior and inferior, superior and infer inferior epigastric vessels. Okay, so this is uh, according to the zone. Zone one, yes. zone two. Yes, zone, sir. zone two. one, zone two. Yes, sir. So the, basically, okay. they all anastomosize at the level of uh, umbilicus. So that's so why when, when we are the second, you said the uh, superior and epigast epigastric. So do you know the zone one? No, sir. So that so I read in Sabiston, I was not able to find the zone. So I read from actually, the Sabiston. Actually, yes, actually, zone one is midline. Okay. okay, rectus muscle is there up to the rectus muscle, so you will get the zone one. It is the central by the superior and inferior epigastric artery. Okay, okay. It is the zone one. And zone two is by the inguinal region. Both inguinal region is zone two. And okay. zone three is lateral to the linear semilunaries is zone three. Okay. Why this is the important? So whenever you are dissecting and you are making the flap, so you must preserve all the vascularity as because the vascularity comes from lateral aspect and okay. from uh -huh. above and below. So you must know the vascularity of the flap. Otherwise, the flap will flap will necrose and ultimately necrose, yes, so there will be the breakage. So recurrence is high. That's why. Okay. Exactly. Sir, I have one question, sir. Sir, I have yeah. one question, sir. Uh, we are doing ventral hernia repair. I have done like out, out of six, sir, I have done two. That's with my consultant on you. Sir, uh, sometimes we, sometimes I don't understand the fact that uh, sometimes we are placing the mesh on the, on, we are doing only repair only right now. Okay. Okay. Then sometimes uh, our consultant are like, first you do the double breasting, like uh, from the lateral uh, seminaries. We are doing the this, uh, transverse incision. Then uh, the consultants are saying that first you do the double breast. Then after no. that you put the mesh. They're saying no. that uh, so, so I, I, they are saying that this is better because it provides more anatomical no. anchoring. Uh, I don't understand. No. Sir. Sometimes I don't get it. Ivan, Ivan, yes, once sir. you present this paper today, 
yes once sir. you present this paper today you yes, understand sir. that uh, retrograde smash placement is a gold standard number yes, one sir. Yes, number sir. two one should try to do a retrograde repair in almost all the situations unless yes, you sir. have a potential danger and second is uh, double breasting of any kind is yes, not sir. advisable the only mesh ha huh. Yes, sir. That's what I told them. It is simpler because okay. if you just tackle the hernia sac, yes, sir. Avoid the defect in the midline, and, and then put the mesh. That is yes, a sir. acceptable. Nobody is saying that only mesh is out of date. Ha, huh. oh, sir. Mesh treatment, but double breasting, the basic hmm. principle of hernia repair is gone. If yes, sir. Double breasting. Uh, if you have to find the margin of the defect, that is important. And if the margin of the defect is less than seven or eight centimeter, with okay, good sir. mobilization of the flaps, you can bring it in the midline. Okay. But more than eight or ten centimeter, if you cannot bring it, hmm. then there is no question of doing a only mid repair under tension. It will fail. Ah yes, sir, because it's written it should be tension free only. Yeah. So yeah. you should you should emphasize your consultant that sir the new. publication on metallurgy says that retrograde mesh repair is a gold standard and you should all the consultants yes sir. See, all What? the consultants have their own method of way of doing so, uh, sometimes uh, once i did also the anterior between the muscles also rectus muscles you, 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 you know this is not this is to be decried you cannot place the mesh between the muscle and the anterior sheath because all the perforators will be interfered yes sir perfect that to create a space between the muscle yes, and the anterior sheath You will interfere with all the perforating uh, vessels and also the cutaneous uh, nerves. Hmm. Cutaneous nerves. Ideal place. Doctor, what? Okay. Sir. Yeah. Rightly discussed, Makonda. So I think as because you have there on the top of the muscle is very difficult. It is easy, but it is dangerous for the patient. Why? The what Makonda discussed. No. and yes, always sir. anatomical repair is the base so that's why the retrograptus mesh repair is the gold standard gold standard today, yes. until and unless proved otherwise okay that's okay. why this the laparoscoping only repair has come hmm. but it was revolutionized the surgery of the ventral hernia but problem <clears throat> lies few things excess entry Injury to the gut or gut, the yes, any sir. other structure, intra-abdominal structure, intra and you are placing the mesh within the peritoneal cavity. Gut. Though it is though it is coated mesh, what surface yes, is coming in contact with the viscera? Yes, sir. But even then, there is a gap in between the anterior abdominal wall and the uh, mesh. So yes, sir, and sir. the case of what you are using. so basic principle is breast in that aspect the why the we can't medialize the the linea alba in that case okay that's yes, why people have started the result is good but same as the rib stopper and yes, can we medialize which we yes, can sir. do in the retrorectus mesh repair Yes, sir. Because so per technique, medialization more than the three centimeter by the laparoscopic surgeon is painful, more painful in the immediate postoperative period. So yes. that's why the surgeon has transformed into an another scenario where they are not doing the high comp plans. They have shifted to retrorectus mesh repair or the component separation. Complete component that's separation. Yes, that's why we have come to think of the if we separate the components so it will be easy to medialize the rectus abdominis that is the rectus sheath okay again the anterior component separation i think you have gone through and the posterior uh, compartment separation that is component separation yes sir. anterior component is whenever you are giving giving incision on the external oblique Lateral to the linear seminal arise, but thing is that if you raise the flap, seroma is more. The muscularity of yes, the body of the anterior abdominal was more, yes, and the area of the patient is also more lateral aspect. 
So cosmesis, cosmesis and the recurrence of the lateral hernia is more. That's why people have started thinking, can we change that? If you know the evolution of the surgeries, then it will be easy and then you can compare. So uh, then people are thinking as because the placement of the anterior mesh is difficult. So can we place the mesh posteriorly? posteriorly. Okay, then it comes as um, the posterior component separation. When we are giving an incision medial to the linear semilunaries yes. so that the nerves and the vessels are not, not injured. injured. Okay. Okay. okay, so these are the variations of the component separations we don't want. But why the posterior tar is very easy in all that case if you are well acquainted in from your uh, postgraduate life, why I am talking about the any source of hernia medicalization is possible. How much you, why you are giving incision on the rectus sheet whenever you will see medialization is not possible, then one millimeter or two millimeter medial to the similar is given supervision incision on the posterior rectus sheet. But you should keep in your mind that you are not cutting the linear uh, that is fascia tuberculis and the peritoneum. Then okay. you can go laterally up to the uh, lateral aspect up to lateral the lateral aspect. abdominal wall that is up to the psoas muscle. So then you see that the medialization of the midline, that is the linear elbow, is very easy. Then you can make a mesh, the big mesh on the anterior abdominal wall. Okay. okay. This procedure is basically the extension of the rib stopper technique. Okay. So if you think of in that way, <laughs> this is also a modification of rib stopper. Yes, so sir. It's also written, sir. Modified reef so in the sir, there is a chapter in Sabistan, the just difficult abdominal wall. In there yes. also it's written the modified uh, reef stopper technique. Yes. yes Another sir. system has come. The modified reef stopper is by the, the rail pole. I think you know Milo's operation. Minimal. Uh, minimal incision. Okay. Minimal incision or the minimal access. Only mesh repair. You read this as because occasionally examiner can ask you. Okay, so I am giving you the clue, so you must read that one as well. Okay. Okay. Sir. And dental hernia is the common that will come in the exam. And uh, yes, most of the cases I see we have seen they can discuss in that way. So you must know the anatomy that is aspect. What is linear semilunaries? Okay, vascularity and the nerve supply, everything. Okay. So now you tell me the, what you are thinking. The vector rectus mesh repair is very good, or yes, it sir. is, huh? Sir, the repair is very good, but the study they have did is not that. Well. They are the, their intentions were good, but I don't think I, I didn't believe in the study. I thought they have, they put a lot of patients and they no, compared no, it with no, a lot of that thing is that problem. They is that the where is the hernial side? They didn't discuss yes, sir, about yes, that. Are they, uh, yes, one. Are they size? They didn't mention the size. What size yes, of the hernia they are doing? But standard size less than the six centimeter or up to six to eight centimeter, which is easy for medialization. Medialization, yes. Sir. But thing is that this is more advantageous than the eye pump. Now fascination has come. The patient doesn't want to do incision on the on his tummy. Abdomen, yes, sir. Uh. Laparoscopic surgery. Yes, but sir. After laparoscopic surgery, studies has come again. The chance of intestinal obstruction is more, yes, as because the adhesion is more. Yes, Number sir. one, tacker with the tacker, what we are using, it was initially non-absorbable. And then now we are using absorbable. So chance of adhesion is still there. And the pain, what the patient are facing immediate after the post-operative. Post no patient can go uh, to his duties or he can be discharged from the hospital. So I think that's why people are thinking and that there is no consensus that the laparoscopic surgery is better than the, what do you say, 
okay. work. That's okay. why people are searching the what are the methods and which way we are we can do that with um, uh, that is ventral hernia repair. That's why people start a minimal excess surgery by rectorectus modification or rectorectus method. So still today, what I feel, I don't know. Makunda will say he is more experienced than me at least. And he has done a lot of cases. I think his experience also said that he has rectorectus mesh, mesh repair is very good. But what is the advantage I can tell you? Whenever you feel you are not able to medialize the midline, then you can give an institution that is posterior the task. So you have the advantage to do that. But if you do other surgery, so other way, on lay on the, yes, on the what you are discussing, or you are giving the mesh over the rectus muscle, in that mm -hmm. case, you can't do the uh, more lateral incision so that the medialization is possible. Okay? Okay. Got Nabanda, you. Any question, please, from your side. Hello. Uh, a lot, lot of options are coming for ventral hernias, including yeah. Milo's uh, scola for small hernias. Yes. And then, uh, and there is also uh, laparoscopic surgery in the form of retrans mesh machines is also coming up. So there are a lot of options. But the standard of care at the moment is doing a uh, reef stopa repair for repair. a ventral hernia. Okay. Yeah. So we pass into the next uh, presentation by Dr. Uh, Bitesh Pradhan. Mitesh is a second year resident uh, at Imar Bangur Hospital. Mitesh, you can uh, share your screen and start. Good morning, sir. Start. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, I'm yeah, Dr. Nitesh Pradhan. I'm going to present General Club on the topic Desada versus like instant technique for primary inguinal treatment. Three year result of randomized clinical trial. The primary author was Zopinski, and uh, the uh, journal, uh, journal published on World uh, uh, Journal Surgery. Start with the introduction. The estimated lifetime risk for inguinal hernia is 27% for male and 3% for women. There are no written surgical guideline for hernia treatment until 2009 when the European Hernia Society published its recommendation based on analysis of the literature and the result of the clinical trials. In the EHS, in the EHS guideline, mesh based technique, the Lichenstein technique is particular, and the endoscopic method are recommended for the treatment of symptomatic inguinal hernia in adult male. The synthetic prosthetic most often used in inguinal area can create a new clinical problems such as foreign body sensation in the groin, discomfort and abdominal wall stiffness, surgical site infection and migration of the mess. The observed complication rate and the post-operative dysfunction have influenced many investigators to look for new hernia te repair technique or to modify old ones. An example of such effort is the DESADA method, which was presented in 2001 and become a new surgical option for the tissue-based groin hernia repair. The aim of the study uh, was uh, to test the hypothesis uh, that the DESADA repair is effective as the standard uh, like skin procedure, allowing successful hernia repair without mess. Material and method, the, uh, the patients were recruited in the Pol uh, Poland from two clinical departments. Uh, uh, department and the sample size were taken to uh, uh, two, uh, 208 male, uh, adult male and they were randomly allocated intraoperatively to undergo undergo one of the two repair uh, repairs that is the SADA tissue based repair D group or the classical like stain mesh repair L group. The study period uh, was uh, from the enrollment of eligible patient began uh, began on January two thousand uh, January two thousand five and took place until the two thousand six June two thousand six. Patient were followed for minimum minimum of three year and the trial ended on June thirty two thousand nine. 
the inclusion criteria was checked and the assess uh, uh, the, uh, 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 inclusion criteria for the study was the assessment of the condition of the external oblique aponeurosis with exclusion of patient with an aponeurosis that was divided tiny and or weak bilateral uh, hernias were also included but only one side was operated on exclusion criteria patient with a recurrent and strangulated hernia or mental disorder were excluded ass scale uh, more than 3 history of forced hernia reduction with subsequent hospitalization and history of infection or the presence of any scar in the inguinal area this is a <clears throat> flow chart showing how uh, randomization uh, has been done uh, for the two group for the sample size in the two group and the follow up and the outcome was assessed at the at uh, one year two year and three year for both the groups the treatment uh, was given uh, uh, the pre pre anesthetic medication uh, was given as per the standard protocol uh, local regional or general anesthesia as per the patient preference and anesthetic opinion operation were performed by the staff surgeon and surgeons in training with equal proportion in both the group Uh, stratified randomization were uh, was used to ensure that the equal proportion of junior and senior surgeon performed the operation in both the groups like instant tension free mesh repair was uh, performed by using uh, 8 cross 12 cm polypropylene mesh and was trimmed to foot like shape to fit the inguinal floor the mesh was sutured to ligament of opet using the non absorbable continuous 20 suture and securely cranially secured cranially using the absorbable 20 suture disorder repair was performed as it was originally described but uh, the particular attention was paid to identify and preserve the uh, nerve of the inguinal area whenever this was not possible and the nerve were uh, the nerve were excised both, for both the technique the skin was closed with continuous non absorbable suture the follow up uh, uh, follow up uh, of the study uh, uh, for the in patient were examined by the blinded investigator until the discharge and seen during follow up appointment at 7 and 30 days and 6 12 24 and 36 month after the surgery both the patient and controlling investigators were blinded to hernia surgery method used recurrence and other complications were recorded pain was measured using the visual analog scale which ranged from 0 to uh, 100 and the Uh, Sheffield scale uh, that ranges from zero to three, where zero is no pain and three is a constant pain at rest and severe during movements. The primary outcome uh, of the study uh, was hernia recurrence and the chronic pain after the six month of surgery, and the secondary outcome were the general and the local complication, length of the uh, length of time to return to various level of everyday activity, foreign body sensation, abdominal wall and in, in stiffness in the groin area. Statistical analysis. Uh, the study was designed to detect 15% difference in the recurrence rate between the groups with a sample of at least 72 hernia per hernias per group uh, a power of 0.8 and the alpha error of 0.05 for quantitative and uh, quant uh, quantitative uh, student t test and man witley u test were used and for qualitative uh, pearson v2 and fisher exact and the difference were considered statistically significant at p value less than 0.05 Results. The uh, these are the baseline characteristics uh, for the uh, patient uh, were uh, taken for both the group: uh, age, comorbidity, and empl uh, employment status of the patient. Uh, they uh, both the groups have a similar uh, baseline characteristic, and uh, uh, and uh, and there is no significant difference between the two groups. Uh, these are the hernial characteristic hernial characteristic of the uh, pa uh, patient and the both the group taken and uh, uh, all uh, the uh, characteristics are uh, almost similar in the both group uh, with no significant difference uh, uh two uh, the uh, in this study the two recurrence uh, in the each group uh, uh, each study group during the three year uh, time period in the d group one recurrence was found above the recreated deep uh, inguinal ring in the triangle between the inguinal ligament and the strip of external oblique aponeurosis and the spermatic cord the second recurrence in the d group was found as the weakening uh, of the posterior wall of the inguinal canal 
and the recurrence in the L group was found uh, in their typical localization close to puberty. Only recurrence were seen uh, uh, before one year. The, uh, the post-operative complications uh, were almost similar, uh, uh, except the seroma at the 30 day, uh, where the uh, where the uh, in uh, where in Lichenstein group the uh, eight patients shown uh, eight patients shown seroma formation and uh, the uh, with a significant difference and the rest uh, uh, post operative complication like testicular edema testicular retrofinguinal hematoma and uh, surgical sites infections uh, are almost similar in both the group with not uh, significant difference. Uh, the person uh, this uh, this table shows the percentage of uh, the patient with a foreign body sensation and abdominal wall stiffness and subjective loss and uh, change in the sensation over the follow up period of 12 month 24 month and 36 month there was comparable uh, difference uh, between both the, uh, 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 difference in both the groups uh, especially in the l group uh, but the uh, statical significance were uh, never reached till uh, to the uh, p value less than 0 0.05 discussion no significant difference uh, differences in clinical outcome were observed during the 3 year follow up of the adult male with a primary inguinal hernia uh, operated on with either the desarda or the lichen technique Excluding the seroma formation, the frequency of complications were similar for the uh, both the groups. The recurrence rate was the same in both the group. The early post-operative time uh, uh, time point at seven thirty days, the pain was slightly higher in the Desada group, but the difference never is the significance. And the no differ uh, no difference at any uh, any of the follow-up time point, including uh, at the six month, were observed. The percentage of other early and the late complications were comparable, but never reached significance except serum and the L L Lichenstein group. The uh, other study like Mitura have published the result of six-month follow-up study of the Desada and Lichenstein approach. They observed no recurrence and pain at uh, pain after six months was comparable in the two groups. Situma et al. I presented their short-term result of Desada versus modified Bessini uh, inguinal hernia repair, uh, concluding that there were no difference between the two uh, in, uh, technique in regard to pain and the return to normal activity. Conclusion of the study, uh, inguinal uh, hernia treatment with the disorder uh, repair are similar to the result as a standard Lichenstein operation. The most evident indication for use of disorder technique include use in young patient in contaminated surgical fields in the presence of financial constraint or if the patient disagrees uh, using the mess. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Anitesh. Very nice presentation. So how you, do you feel? How what is how many is the paper is very good, sir. Uh, paper, sir, uh, <laughs> is good, uh, sir. But the various uh, why, other papers why, are why over the there. Paper is very good, sir. Uh, why the paper uh, or the group is there? This is a very good paper. Have you any idea? Uh, you, have have you have done an operation. So in a study, I have suppose I am the, I have done one operation. So what will be there in our OPD? I will do follow up. Okay. Yes. So then, even if there is a minor change, so I won't write. I want to. I I I want to discard that one. But that is the surgeon's bias. So that is not there yet. So that's why, why number one, number two, randomization. Patient doesn't know what she will or he will undergo. So after giving an incision, check the external oblique apparatus. If it is the strength is good, there is no, there is no fracture in the sheet. Then you are taking decision that you are, whether you are going to do the disorder or you are going the mesh repair. Huh? Yes, sir. So in yes, that sir. case, you see two things. Suppose I First. have done an operation and along with that, my junior colleague has done operation. So that's why you see the double blind. 
the surgeons, yes, the sir, junior consultant surgeon and the junior surgeon, they should be the equal in the both the group. And the surgeon doesn't know the which one he is doing, I mean, doing operation is doing until and unless he has explored and he has seen the um, uh, external oblique, condition of the external oblique apneurosis. And the surgeon yes, is not following the patient. The patient is followed by the another surgeon who has not done the operation. So I think the biasness is less. less. I think mm. this paper is good enough. So what's your opinion now? Is it good or bad? <laughs> it is good, sir, because uh, uh, the study is a randomized controlled trial. The second is uh, blinding has been done to reduce the bias. Yes. So, Okay, so you follow up how many years you have done? Three years. Yes, sir. Follow up period is uh, uh, three years. Three years follow up. So I think this is a very good paper. But is there any drawback in this paper? Sir, uh, sir other is paired. Paired means suppose the patient age group. Patient age group means 50 years at the age of 50 and at the age of 50, that is 10 years. If you do that, at the age of 50, the Sharda, and the age, at the age of 50, your Lichtenstein prepare. So if you pair the comorbidities, comorbidities, if it is equal, the patient is having diabetic in one hand or in one arm and another arm, it is diabetic. Then you can compare the which one is good and the which one is bad. To some extent, these are the drawbacks of this study. Otherwise, this is a very good study as because it is double-blinded randomized control trial. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. We are having an ongoing study. Uh, one of the first is on SRD versus uh, Lichtenstein repair. So... It's not double-blinded, but uh, we are doing the study with the idea that uh, if the disorder is a acceptable technique, then you can avoid using the mesh because there are some mesh-related complications that, that nobody can deny. But uh, intention still today is a good standard for uh, groin and knee repair. Yeah, yeah, that so is correct. Know. That is correct. Whether the mesh-induced seroma, mesh-induced inflammation, and the cost of mesh, can we prevent that? But ultimately, it depends upon the, the uh, integrity of the external oblique apneurysis. Suppose the integrity of the external oblique apneurysis is not good, then we don't have any other option than the Lichtenstein repair. So that is the thing. Yes, we can modify it and we can change it due to that, the complication which happens by the Lichtenstein repair. It is gold standard, no doubt. But even as because this paper has come, that paper will give the impetus to our junior surgeon or the senior consultant also to do, to do that and to justify whether it is better or it is equal. I think that is the good enough. That has given us impetus. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Hello. In fact, in fact the, the balance is swinging more towards laparoscopic repair because yes. people are now recommending to have uh, unilateral hernia, which was not earlier taken as a recommendation. Now people are taking the recommendation of unilateral hernia for uh, laparoscopic repair. So the balance is swinging more towards laparoscopic repair. Yes. But again, as Desada claims, Desada himself claims that his technique is sound and he can go without mesh and that is his main agenda that uh... sir you hello 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 sir hello hello yes, sir yes Makonda is correct. People are swinging. Why we are swinging not yet? So we shall have to have the study mode. Why? Yes, no doubt. Laparoscopic surgery is scarless, pain will be less. We are not, we can see the every nerve so we can dissect it nicely. 
but thing is that when we are doing tapp then we are doing super suturing and while we are fixing the mesh so these are the problems as because occasionally so there is a tear on the posterior flap so that is also another again problem so mesh repair is no doubt very good repair but the problems with the mesh that is the foreign body within the abdomen or abdominal wall these are the prerequisite still today we should think of no doubt no doubt still today the standard operation is the lichtenstein and the people who are experienced enough they are swinging towards the laparoscopic surgery but i think the days will say after few years which one is good as because the light weight mate again what are the mesh you are using the is it a light weight mesh or the microporous mesh or the macroporous mesh so these are the differences which are coming out i think still today the people are swinging from the lichtenstein to towards the laparoscopic inguinal hernia reparation having their drawbacks okay so as because the learning curve is stiff more stiff learning curve it is very difficult to know the internal anatomy as because yes it will be there as because in our student life we have never seen the anatomy of the laparoscopic laparoscopic view of the inguinal hernia but nowadays pgt since their inception in the uh, yeah um uh, in their course they are looking into that so i think gradually it will shift towards that okay so i think that is the good thing but the sarda is not a very bad ea uh, option but still today we should say this is a good study but there are few drawbacks we shall have to go the further evaluation to EMA to give an idea or to say that yes it is superior or it is at par yes, okay sir. okay yeah. so yeah. i think makonda uh, yeah, anything yeah. he wants to comment no, okay we have discussed both the papers nicely thank you oh. dr thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir.